Franklin's, one of my favorites. 1948 to 1963, a very short series, the last large silver coin put in the circulation by the U.S. Mint. It's rare that we get first year of issue coins certified and then have that extra little FBL. Tonight we do. Take a look at this one. You're looking at the first year of issue, Denver Mint. This is an NGC certified 64. And the FBL stands for Full Bell Lines, which is on the reverse of the coin. And we'll be showing you that through our chat here over the next few minutes. The most important part of this is first year of issue, 64 grade, but more so the price of $99.95. Now check out this reverse shot right here. First of all, you'll see the Denver Mint mark at the top under the E in states, but it's all about the FBL. Now look across the bottom of the bell. You see three lines left to right. It's going to show you a really good zoomed in shot here, what the FBL designation means. There's three lines across the bottom of the bell, a space, and then another three lines. In order to get that designation of full bell lines, those lines have to meet left to right all the way across with no spaces or gaps. And that comes from the first dies off the press. So the full bell lines, the FBLs, are technically the first strikes in the Franklin series. So you have a first year of issue, 1948. You have an FBL. Full bell lines just means just the first strikes of that year in 64 grade. We're going to give you all the details on the populations, but that is what an FBL is. Full bell lines across the back, two separate lines of three. Important because, again, the more you strike, those little fine lines kind of shift, and you'll see five lines, you'll see four and a half lines, etc. This means first strike, first few coins off the die when they're fresh. A couple of other things. Again, the Franklin, as I referenced, was made from 1948 through 1963. There were 16 P's, 14 Denvers, and five S's. Of the 14 Denvers, the one with the lowest mintage figure, the key Denver in the entire series for low mintage is, well, this first year of issue. So not only is it an FBL 64, it's the lowest minted coin on the Denver side, which is 14 coins. Something also quite special. Now NGC, graded by NGC, 64 FBL. The total number of Franklins that NGC has seen across the entire span of grading, they opened in the mid to late 80s, is over 465 million coins. So that's every coin they've seen in the Franklin Half Dollar Series. It is on their census report, and that is a large, large number. In FBL, though, you're looking at a total number of 76,482. And that's all dates all grades with the FBL designation. This one though, very, very small, the 1948 Denver in 64 FBL or better, specifically, you're looking at just 3,296 coins. Now, that is a very, very small percentage of even the mintage figure because there was four million coins made that year. And of course, those numbers I just referenced, all FBLs or even all Franklins, a tiny percentage are 48 Denvers in FBL 64 or better. It's like buying a brand new car, a vintage car, a collectible car, and it has no miles, right? The lower the miles, the mint condition, all matters, right? All collectibles tie in on firsts, and then how immaculate is it? And this is with the FBL designation, the ultimate immaculate coin. But again, four million coins struck making it the number one low mintage figure coin in the Denver field. And then when you look at how few of them are known, and again, these coins are to the naked eye FBL visible, three over three. It's they're just beautiful blast white pieces. Our competition has these in capsules, just a regular uncirculated 48D for $86.95. And well, they made we, four million of those. And there's four million <laughs> of those, exactly. We did find one of our competitors. Finally, somebody has this coin. And they were at 129 so we're $30 under them today. Now, we only have a handful. Our phones are getting very busy, so that means avccoins.com. It'll be there to help all evening long. And when we're not here as well, all 24-7, 365 is available on our website. All you got to do is go there, and in the search bar on our site, Put in 905-6475, it'll bring you right to it. But on this one, you need to push it through your shopping cart. That'll give you an order number, it locks it down. Because we're down to less than 10 available right now, which means these are going quick. 
so many special features about this particular coin. It's the first non-president to appear on a United States circulating coin, the Franklin Half Dollar. That started in 1948, so it is a first year of issue. It is the Denver Mint. It's the number one Denver Mint on the, uh, the chart of all mintage figures of the 14 Denvers made in the entire series. It is the lowest mintage, and only 3,296 are known to exist, have ever been seen in NGC's 64 FBL grade or higher. So this is a very, very special coin. We're saving $30 off our competition on this one right here. Very, very few left, folks. Phones are still very, very busy. Again, don't forget about that website, avccoins.com. Lock yours in now before it is a sold out coin. Every time we bring Franklin's up, the phones light up, whether it's uncirculated, FBL, 64s, proofs, et cetera. It's a very, very popular category. And this one is a first of its kind. So we do have to put a one minute clock up though. Looking at the number of coins left and the number of phone calls coming in, it's very, very close. So don't miss out. Give us a call right now so you don't miss your opportunity to get this first year of issue. Lowest minted Denver in the FBL, which means it's the first strike in the series. Very similar to Proof Like Morgan's first strike, Silver Eagles, the FBL for the Franklin. Proof like Morgan's, Silver Eagles, it's all, they're all tied together with the first being the most important. Well, in Franklin's, because this is three quarters of a century ago, and NGC wasn't even around at that point to start creating the terminology, the coin itself shows you it. Right, like a cameo on a the proof three side. Three over three, like a cameo, et cetera, on the other side for the wellness of strike. It's all about value tonight. First year of issue, lowest vintage figure, crazy low population, competition for a regular coin in a capsule, only a couple dollars less than us, but we did finally find one, and they have it at $129.95. So we're $30 less this evening, while the few coins we have are left. And yes, as Hunter just asked, these are all blast white beauties, like the ones you see on your screen. You're gonna love it. <laughs> 